Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So first off, if you are enjoying my videos, please share them out. I do not do any promotion and like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Twitter is in the link below. So today we're gonna do something a little fun. We're going to do an unboxing of Practical Physical Exploitations Peak Kit. And what this is, it's a base kit of all the tools you would need if you were running a physical red team on a facility and you needed a set of tools to do that. I used to do a ton of physical red teaming where we would utilize all of these tools in the field and break into facilities for government and corporate clients. Now, originally I heard of these guys because they were putting on a class in Tampa, Florida. Funnily enough, I have never been to Tampa, Florida, but I have a ton of friends there and I always wanted to just go to Tampa, Florida. I've been everywhere else in Florida except for Tampa. So when I saw they had a class, first off, the price point on it was spot on. It was like super cheap for what it was. And the content that they delivered was awesome, immersive experience where, you know, you're going out in the field into coffee shops and malls and breaking into buildings, doing recon on live things and then doing, you know, a test associated with that where you're actually going to break into a facility and utilize the tools that you learn. So if it's something you're looking for, definitely worthwhile and the price is just awesome. So I can highly suggest that. With that said though, I am not affiliated with these guys at all. I know them, I'm friends with them, but I have nothing to do with this company. It is just a good class if you're into that sort of thing. So what we're gonna take a look at today is an unboxing of all the tools that one, they use in the class. So if you go to this class, you're gonna utilize all these tools in real life situations, but Two, you can also buy this as I did if you, you know, run a consultancy or you're working within a team somewhere and you need a base kit to do this. This has a lot of really good tools with some custom configurations and you can grab it at their store. So what I did is I ordered this physical exploitation access peak kit, which has all of this stuff in there. I'll explain what all of these things are, as well as a couple add-ons such as their stealth kit and their surveillance kit. I'll also show that and everything going on with that. And if you want me to go in deeper after I show you all of this and how to configure and utilize any of these things, just let me know. I can add it in here and we can get going. So right now I am going to show the videos and we're gonna walk through an unboxing of all the tools and talk about each one as the methodology rolls through. So let's transfer over to that video now. So these are the two very large boxes I got this week containing all of the physical exploit equipment that comes with that peak kit. And I'm gonna roll through here and show you everything in it. Here is a list, I don't know if you could see it on my phone. I'm not a very good uh, camera person with my phone. But if you can, if not, I will link it in the link below. We're gonna go through all of this and I'm gonna explain each piece as well as show you the layout in this box when you get it. That way you know what you're getting into. If you're building a red team, you need a base equipment kit. This would be a good one for you to start with because it has all of the essentials. And then you can add in all your other favorite stuff later that's not in here, such as you know, implant devices and stuff like that. So once you open this up, you're gonna see all this equipment in here. Other than this box, this is a add-on, but here are your RFID data interpreters. And here is some stuff for making badges. You have a Proxmark in here. You have some random bypass tools, as well as some other equipment in here. And I'm gonna lay all of this out and explain everything of what it is, kind of in the order of a methodology of a pen test. That way it kind of flows a little bit better and you can wrap your head around what's in here without getting lost in just piecemealing it. And within the second box, and this is the first one we'll open up really and just go through everything in here, is some camera equipment for kind of long range recon since recon is the first thing that we're gonna do in our testing. So I'm going to clip this here and then dump everything from this box on here and go through it and then we'll go through the other box. So here are the contents of the surveillance kit add-on, which is gonna be the first part of your methodology where you are doing your recon. So we have a cool Pix Nikon P1000 camera. And what we're gonna use this for is, you know, taking pictures of badge readers and security cameras, the way people are dressed, all those types of things. 
from a distance, we can zoom in quite well with that. And we also have a mini tripod with that, a mobile tripod, and a sand disc, as well as some, you know, random stuff like some lens stuff and some cleaning stuff. Then we have two cases, what looks like a more of a full case and what looks like kind of like a sleeve. And those are the contents of the extra surveillance kit. This may or may not be something you need. If you already have a camera that works quite well, you can just use the one that you have and not add this on. So that's everything with the camera add-on. So let's take a look at what's in the big Pelican case now. So here is the contents of the Pelican case unpacked. I'm gonna go through each of these in order of operations based on methodology. So we went through our recon kit. Once we did our recon, maybe we noticed that there was some badge readers on the outside of the building. We noticed employees wearing badges and going to coffee shops and doing this sort of thing. So we're gonna to try to get some long range badge reads from employees of the company using these data interpreters. So here we have a prox reader and on the back, you'll notice that there is a power cable and there is also an SSID and a password. And what that is for is we will hook this up to our battery pack here. And once we do that, we can connect to a network of the SSID on the back of this. And on our phone, we can go to a web page. And as we get reads from employees, we can look at our phone and be like, yep, we got that read, we're good to go. We can use that to get in the door. That way we kind of know real time as we're doing this operation that we captured credentials that we can use later on and know how many we captured. And I can show that to you if you want at some point, just let me know and I can load this up and, and do a trial run on various things, just let me know. So we also had, like I said, our battery pack. Now we use this when I took their class for a lot of hours and nobody ran out. So it definitely packs some good juice. I'll show you here, this is the iClass SE reader and it's similar, it's a little bit bigger. And if we flip it over again, it has an SSID and a password as well as a plugin. And that plugin just plugs right into our battery pack. So once we get all of those badge reads, then we want to, you know, put them onto a badge so that way we can break into that facility. So we have right here another Pelican case. Within here, we have some cables and random things associated with this Proxmark. So this is a Proxmark that has a Blue Shark on it for Bluetooth capability. So we can use this to transfer the data from the card captures that we got onto our cards right here. So we have some blank high and low frequency cards, depending, you know, what we're attacking, as well as we have some of these uh, RFID test cards here. So that is what's in that box. And then let's say that we couldn't get a badge read and, you know, it was just too hard. We couldn't find out where employees are going. The situation wasn't right. It just wasn't going our way. You know, we scoped out some places for a long time, never saw anybody with badges. They have really good badge security. They always put them away. They don't wear them out in public. Well, we have this little guy here. This is the stealth add-on. So this is not part of the normal kit, much like the surveillance kit. These are the two items that are add-ons. And what this is, is this is a reader like you see on a door, right? Same thing. It's just one of these HID uh, iClass SE readers. It'll capture lots of different types of credentials. Now what we do is we have some double-sided kind of tape on the back of this and we can stick this on the wall. And once we stick that on the wall, it will you know, capture reads if people are trying to scan this instead of the real reader. And we can also connect to this via a wireless network and grab those reads and put them onto a Proxmark without having to actually physically go back and grab this thing. Although you're gonna to wanna to grab this thing later on and you can do that, but you can also use, I believe the way these work are some stealth cards that you can walk up and you can turn off the wireless network in case there's some kind of thing going on. Maybe there's an IDS that's attacking wireless networks that are not on the list or something of that nature, um, or you don't wanna be discovered because they're scanning for things and checking things out. You can use something like that. These take a nine volt battery, and this could be quite useful if you were just in a situation where you were just like, okay, last resort, let's just see, you know, let's put this on the wall next to the real reader and see what we get. So that might be good and useful. And that's all the RFID components in this. And now 
We'll also show, this is a bag they sent us. Now, this bag is a over-the-shoulder kind of um, laptop bag, and it can also be converted into a backpack-style bag. Reason being, somebody might have a badge on their hip, and you can use it as a laptop badge and kind of bump into them or stand next to them. And then if you put them where it was on their uh, chest, you know, it was around their neck, you could stand in front of them in line and back into them or something or stand real close and awkward and kind of get the badge read that way. And what we would do is, if I can hold this and not screw it up, what I'm doing is we're going to take this reader here and just slide it into this bag like this. And it's hooked up into the battery pack in there. And we just wear it over our shoulder and do what we need to do. So that's pretty simple. And it's nice that we have that option of like, oh crap, everybody's got around their neck. Our laptop bag's not going to work. We're just going to convert it. So that's a pretty cool thing that they sent along with it. Just as like a nice extra there. Now, next up we have, okay, we got some badge reads and we need to do something with those badges, such as create badges. So we have a clipboard here and we have some items in here, such as some random uh, different types of things uh, to wear the badge, right? It's these little um, things where you hook up the badges and you can kind of pull out the cable. We have some lanyards. We have some uh, plastic sleeves that you can wear for the badges, you know, depending how you see employees at the company when you're doing your recon wearing their badges. So it's nice to have just a couple uh, options there to look most like the company. And then, of course, you can use this clipboard for whatever you want with social engineering, etc., and we have here to make the badges, we have some razors to cut things out. We have some tape to go over those. We also have a little cutting board here and we have some photo paper to make those badges. So all the little items and things that you wouldn't think about when you were packing your kit to do a physical pen test that, and then you're like, oh no, I need that. A lot of these things are in here already. So that's kind of nice. We have a hole puncher for punching that on the badge. That way we can, you know, just hang it through a lanyard, something of that nature. And that covers all the stuff for the badge making. So now, you know, once we have, you know, grabbed our badge and then we put it onto a, you know, a new badge and then we created the badge and made it look legitimate and Photoshop and printed it all out and cut it out. Then we need to get into, okay, we need to go attack that facility, so we have some items for that as well. So, of course, we have our badge to get in the facility, and that's our, our, our main thing there. And then we have some other stuff here. So we have our little, you know, shove-it tool that's in this pouch that you can open up doors with, latches and whatnot. You also have a little basic uh, pick kit where you got some rakes and a, a little tension wrench. So it's good for, um, you know, just opening up small locks or opening up cabinets in the building. It's nice to have those in there. And we have some USBs. I don't know 100% what these are for. Um, I don't know if they have a specific purpose or just using them to configure for something. I'd have to look up exactly why they gave those to us. But yeah, not 100% sure, but there are some USBs and stuff here as well. Um, and then... I missed this. So this goes along with the badge kit. I don't know 100% what it is, but based on this package, it looks like something to do with making the badge and getting it, you know, set up correctly. Um, I'd have to look into that a little bit as well. I'm not 100% sure what this thing is, but it's about the size of the badge and it looks like it snaps in there from the picture. So it's made by HP. So it probably has something to do with that photo paper is my guess. But anyway, Moving back through the tools to break in. So we have an under the door tool. Now, if you're watching my YouTube channel before, I had a short where I used this out of a bathroom in a hotel room and just showed how it worked um, to open up under the door, like office, you know, a conference room, such like that. If they're locked, you need to get in there, slide that under the door, grab the latch and get in there. You also have this uh, Rex bypass along with some um, tubes to put through the door and some co2 containers these are good for hitting those sensors to open up doors for you by sticking it through one end of the door and then spraying it we also have for like the crash bars and stuff your your double door tool so that's pretty cool and then some accessory stuff right so we have some gaffers tape i believe is what this was we would put that around here on our under the door tool for giving a little more friction and grip when we're trying to grab that lever if it's not going quite 
the way we want it to go. So that is all the tools within this box and within the other box I have. So that covers the full base kit as well as the stealth reader as well as the surveillance kit. So I hope just seeing all the stuff in here is useful for you if you're trying to decide if this is a good kit for your pen test team to add to their arsenal or if you're building a team and you need a base kit. I think this would be really fantastic as a base kit, especially with these readers all pre-configured and ready to go. You don't have to do any soldering. You don't have to do integrate, you know, the, like an app in there or do anything like funny. It's it's really nice to have those readers. Um, and it, it, I think it's going to be useful for me. I'm going to use it in some pen tests coming up here. It's also what they used in class. So if you take this class, you get done, you're like, okay, cool. I'm comfortable with all these tools. It's a, it's something that you can grab after class because you're going to be utilizing all these tools if you were to take their class. Again, I'm not affiliated with these guys at all. I just bought this kit because I used to use the tools that were provided to me from other consultancies when I was doing physical pen tests for them. But now I have my own base kit that I can throw my old favorite tools in as well as some implants and I should be good to go. Hopefully this was useful for you in case you were building your own kit. It'll give you some ideas as well as if you were planning on buying this kit or taking this class. Hopefully it will give you some insights. Either way, if you want me to show you how to configure any of this stuff in here, let me know and like, subscribe and share some videos.